Hey guys, this is Graphic12 from uh, the thread on the keyboard that was like making a lot of issues. Um, I think I figured out a fix on what to do. And it's uh, it seems to be a short circuiting issue. Um, what I've currently done is that I've got all the screws exposed, so we're gonna try to get into the inside of the keyboard um, I don't know if this does or doesn't void the warranty but uh, if it does then you're better off just sending it straight to the manufacturer I I'm not somebody who likes waiting so I'm not gonna send it to the manufacturer um, there's a screw in there and there's a screw also in here I've damaged this uh, place already, so it's a lot harder to get this piece out. I've already broken it. Um, let's just get straight to the unscrewing, I guess. I'm just gonna... Um, Now I wish I had a schematic or something like that because I'd love to know what I disconnected but uh, apparently after disconnecting it I stopped having issues so uh, it seems to be like a short that's been happening but after I've disconnected it it seems like all the features on the keyboard still work I, I don't know which features stopped working everything seems fine I was capable of changing the lighting settings. I was capable of downloading and installing a firmware update. I honestly don't know what I've unplugged. Anybody knows what I unplugged. And love to drop a comment. That'd be wonderful. There should be more screws. Um, pretty sure this isn't up. Um, Missed a couple screws. Um, home and page down. There's a screw right there. What else?
still not budging. Got to be some keys underneath. There's got to be some screws underneath these. There's screws underneath the directional keys. Forgot about those. Is that it? There's not that many screws. Or there's there's plenty to get confused on. Um After getting all the screws, put in a little bit of force, pulls off the entire bottom section, top section away from each other. Won't do it without ease. Don't know why the sections. And there's got to be one more screw. Underneath here, yeah, that's right there. number pad keys there you go like it feels completely given up now okay what's going on ah oh, I miss a screw oh no Separate. Oh fuck. Why ain't this coming out? This came out the first time around. Oh fuck. Got a fucking USB. All right. No, to everybody. Yeah, uh, don't forget any USBs. So, let me you get your keyboard out. I noticed that there's this piece that is lined up there, there, there's one yeah there's this piece that's lined up over here it's uh one of those uh, grounding kind of cables and there's another piece that's lined up over here and I want these grounding cables and they're linked with uh, screws that look kind of like this and they're in those holes and then these are linked to them all I've done is that I've removed these cables what seems to be is a ground that's running from here to here. I don't understand why there should be a ground in between the programmable board section up here and the, the keyboard itself. It makes sense to have one ground, but why ground going to another ground makes no sense. And I, I don't know if these grounds are touching anything. I'd love to get a schematic to read up and see what I disconnected but uh what I did is just I unscrewed that unscrewed that and then I put mm, this is duct tape I was planning on putting electrical tape something just to ground it because I didn't want to snip off the cable and my problems stopped happening after that now um things that I did I did this whenever the keyboard wasn't bugged out, so I would 
advise extreme caution if you do this while the keyboard is bugged out. I mean, like, if it stopped having issues temporarily, I say give it a shot, you know. Because my, my problems absolutely altogether just stopped happening. And it's been three days since I've done this. Uh, I, I guess that's it. I'm going to be uploading this onto YouTube and throwing it onto uh, the forums. Hopefully somebody else would possibly tell me what I've unplugged. Thank you.